I'm Scarlett Farmer and I've been riding for nine years. I'm 16 years old and I started riding because my mom rides a lot and she kind of encouraged me to start and ever since I started I really loved it. I've been riding for almost five years. Um, my sister got me into riding um, when I was um, quite young. And I've been riding since I was three years old, so for 12 years. And my grandmother would take me to like the stables to see horses, and then I fell in love with it and have broadened ever since. So Jonathan and Scarlett, they both compete, both dressage and show jumping. Um, Scarlett has done eventing as well, that's her mother's forte and she's a Barbados bronze medalist at the CAC Games. But um, Abby is our show jumper and all three of them do the discipline of show jumping. I'm really proud and grateful that I won this such an event for my country and it's made me really happy that I could do it for my country. I am very honoured to have done that for Barbados and I hope I can do that again this year for this challenge. For people who want to do equestrian, it's a sport that it's all about the bond and connection you have with your horse. Because yeah, you can just hop on a horse, but it's more deep and meaningful when you have a bond with a horse and that's your special horse. Equestrian is special because it's one of the few sports where men and women actually compete together on the same level playing field, which you don't get in most sports. Um, but we also are very lucky to work with an animal that is our partner. And it takes time to build a partnership. So no matter what, um, with like the girls having really nice horses, it builds, they do, they do need to work and, and be diligent and consistent with their training in order to have a really good partnership with their horse. Um, there are loads of riding schools on island um, and basically a lot of people come in because they like the racing aspect um, and they start in the riding school level and some, some, many people actually come in they think it's going to be easy and they, you know, the first six months they, they want to be galloping through the fields or jumping big fences and it just, it doesn't happen that fast for everyone. <laughs> it's um, on the riding school level a lot of our children ride just one day a week just because it is a more expensive sport but there is there is riding on island and um, the charity and they were doing quite a lot and a lot of the jockeys came through through them and you know a, f a few riders have actually said they didn't actually want to be jockeys anymore and they end up coming into the more riding school environment end up being show jumpers and um, it happens the other way too where we they start in the show jumping and so on and they end up going and, and leaving to be jockeys so there is quite a lot of riding on island in general there are a lot of horses that need a good home when they're finished the horse racing industry and um, yeah and it's nice to be able to give them a, a constructive home so a lot of them end up actually in the riding schools <laughs>